Does anyone remember waking up in December 2010, waking up so early in the morning, and then going downstairs to see the toy Armsies? Yeah, I did not think so. And that is the thing, you probably have no idea where Armsies even is. Or do you? For those that don't know, Armsies is a toy that is made by the semi-successful company Zang Toys. They are most well known for stickbots, and stickbots, and stickbots? Oh yeah, and Wethead. Are you ready for some water filled fun? Wethead, the wet and wild water life game. Fill the wethead and take your chances. Wethead, strap on the cap and test your life. Wethead, get a spin and pull a pin. Well, you might have heard somewhat about the stick bots in the wethead. Or they have completely, completely, completely fell out of your memory and you just do not remember them. But while you might have a slight understanding of stick bots, you probably have no memory of Armsies. And that is the type of toy that we're looking at today. Toys that Zeng made that are now discontinued and forgotten by the general public. But first, let's look into the early days of Zeng to see what's going on. Founded in 1992 in Hong Kong Islands, Zing Toys and its original creator Alex Pearson and Michael Hutch... Hutchings? Sorry for butchering that. They both created a toy company called Zing Toys. By compelling kids to turn off their video games or smartphones, but now that we've discussed where Zing came from, now let's talk about its forgotten toys, starting with... Arms is a toy that was released somewhere between 2010 and 2011. It was a toy that is a plastic ball that stretches. No, no, not, not, whatever this is, the, the not stretch arm truck. I, I, I don't even know what this is. But a little monster that could bounce, put their hands on their head, and stick together. It seems like a great toy. All of the reviews and videos I found seem like a lot of fun. It even has six designs. Now, here's the thing. I do not know how good are the qualities of these, because the reviews that I found aren't very positive. But honestly, I don't think that matters because they were sold for a very long time. But now they're discontinued. They have not been on the Zing store since August of 2022 when I bought one. Yeah, I bought an armies for $5. Yeah, on sale. But when I got one... Is this the right one? Yeah, somewhere down the road, Armies got a redesign, which made it look completely worse in my opinion. Like, it has holes in it, and like, the quality feels very cheap, and it's smaller. Well, maybe that's why they're on sale. But honestly, looking at the ones that I have, and comparing it to the old ones, I think the new one's facial expressions are better. They look either more scary or more happy. Now, I know that I just criticized them a lot, but in all honesty, they are fun to animate with. Now, I know that's not the purpose to animate with them, but I have made a lot of really cool animations with them. They may not be able to stand up on their own, but with some clay, they can stand out perfectly fine. Oh yeah, and also, I had a recent video titled Gloopy, which is my first video where I used an Armsies. But it actually appeared on Stickbot Spotlight, which means that it is the first time, most likely apparent, that Armsies has appeared on a Zing channel ever. Like, I can't even find the official upload of the Armsies commercial or anything like that. So yeah, it's cool that it has some acknowledgement, but sadly I do not see these coming back. I really want all of them, because they are good for animations. But buying secondhand sucks. Like, what is this? Oh yeah, and also, like, when Armsies was about to be taken down, which I'm assuming it was, they actually showed two pictures, one of the new design and one of the old design. So, like, was the old design just, uh, prototypes? If so, that's, that's, that's false advertising. Zing once had this toy called Zombie Slayers. I think that Zing still uses the Z as an S, like, in the recent Stickbot Legends. Yeah, I guess they never understood that Z is not proper grammar. Well anyway, Zombie Slayers was this hunting brand that you could use to hunt zombies with. Yeah, I do not understand. Like it's Bone Arrow, which kinda reminds me of those like Zing bows that they made. You know, like the ones that they made and then they made a dude perfect commercial like thing. Yeah. Well these lines of products also made a target sign that was plastic, which I guess you could shoot with. 
I'm pretty sure that's all that this came with the toy line, because I could not find much information about them, because they came out over 10 years ago. But I just think it's strange that Zing wanted kids to get ready for the zombie apocalypse. Like, that is the most strangest thing ever. But now that the line is discontinued, the only way that Zing can get people ready for the zombie apocalypse is with the stick butt action zombie pack thing. Yeah, I'm sure that's definitely going to prepare me for the zombie apocalypse. Now, OzWest is an interesting one because the product is fun. Like, it's an airplane, plastic guns, and a broomerang. That's not how you say those. It's actually an interesting toy because it actually got Zing into a lawsuit about trademark infringement. Now this lawsuit is incredibly vague about what the trademark infringement was, but it had something to do with the toy OzWest Toys. And something interesting to mention, OzWest Toys is not even the Zing original brand. It was a partnership that they did, which I guess like just cross-promoted different products. So basically, Zing and OzWest were working together, and now there's a lawsuit? And now the question is, who filed it? The lawsuit was filed by Hedden International LLC Platon. When trying to research this case, it was hard to find answers for it, like who won the case? But my assumption is, is that it was a minor case, or it was hidden from the public by the Supreme Court. So yeah, this toy is no longer up, just like the other ones in this video, and like, it's not even original. A boomerang and a Nerf gun ripoff? I, I see millions of companies do this all the time. Like, this is the most unoriginal thing ever. Like, why would it even matter if it was unoriginal or not? Because so many companies do these same exact products. Well, anyways, the toy did seem like fun. Like, it was one of those toys that you can win at like a birthday party game. Like, the, the, the 42 bottles of beer on the wall where you like go around in circles and then like, if it lands on you, you win the prize. Kind of like a cheap gift that you can buy lots of. Well, that was the video. I do not usually make videos like this, but I decided to make one because I really want to talk armsies. Because I have been like obsessed with armsies. Like I really want to buy more. They're expensive, but I just have like a really big interest in them because I think they're very fun to animate with. Now, while it is sad that these are no longer available, it's good that they came up by. Well, I'm Leopold, and bye.